So suppose we've got this uh, Boolean expression and we want to find the the Morgan, oops, I'm off screen there. We want to find the the Morgan complement. Or really, it's not that I want to find it. What I want to do is I want to apply the De Morgan complement, or I want to take this knot and distribute it across this function. I guess it's not really a function across this expression. Um, and remember, we can't just take it and just treat it like a negative and invert all of the variables. Um, we also have to modify the signs. So here's what I do. Um, the first thing is I write all my variables again because they're all going to be there. And yes, I realize that this could probably be simplified, but that's not what we're doing in this problem. So we've got x, and uh, and if it's not primed, I'm going to prime it. I'm going to invert that. Y is primed, so I'm going to uh, just write it in its unprimed form. X is not primed, so I'm going to prime it. And Z is primed, so I'm not going to prime it here. So I've inverted each variable. And then I'm going to write the signs in here. So ands change to ors and ors change to ands. Now um, the last thing is we need to make sure that we maintain our precedence. And so we know uh, from our original statement here that x ended with y not happens before any of this stuff, right? X ended with Y not happens before this or or this or. Um, and we need to make sure that, that this operation, even though it's changed to an or, happens first. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put parentheses around here. Because let's imagine real quick what would happen if we didn't do that. If we didn't do that, we would have Y anded with x naught, and then we would or it with x naught, and then and it with z. Or sorry, I guess that's not entirely true, right? We would and these three, and then or it. And so that's not the order we want. We want to make sure we do this operation first. That's why it's important to keep our parentheses there.